I'm lucky to live in the greater Phoenix area where we have a ton of card shows, and I love attending them for the deals in the bargain bins, to network with members of the community, and finally to share my pickups with you guys, my audience. Welcome to my card show series, where I show a walkthrough of the show venue and many of the dealer showcases, give my thoughts and review of the show, and show my pickups from various dealers. So if you're interested in seeing what a particular show is like, or if you want to see what I picked up, kick back, relax, and enjoy the vid. What's up everybody, Frank AZ HP Collectibles here with another card show pickups and walkthrough video on Saturday, July 1st. I went to two card shows. One was the Phoenix VIP show in Phoenix, which is this video. And the other is the Collectibles on College Tempe show, which I will release tomorrow. As mentioned, this is the Phoenix VIP show. So let's get into that one. Um, I will do the walkthrough video of the venue. Uh, and as usual, there will be no background music. So you can see and hear the sights and the sounds of the show. Uh, it was a fantastic show as usual. It was a packed house. So I, I feel like they may be growing out of that venue. I don't know if the, uh, if the show organizer plans on expanding or uh, maybe moving to a, a larger venue at some point. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you know, that's something maybe, maybe I'll reach out and I'll find out if he has some info on that for me. Um, who knows, maybe he'll even comment on this video like he did last month. <laughs> Big shout outs to you, David. Um, but great show as usual. And I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So before we get into the walkthrough, I want to uh, say thank you very much to all of the, the viewers the people who uh, give the the views, the likes, the comments, the subscribes um, here on the channel, it is very much appreciated, as well as those people who reach out at the shows and say, hey, I watch your videos and I really, I really like them. Um, when I hear that type of thing at shows, uh, it really, it really makes me feel like doing those walkthrough videos of the shows is worth it. It makes me want to keep doing them. So uh, thank you very much to all of you who, uh, vocalize your appreciation and therefore I'm doing the same now as well vocalizing my appreciation um, speaking of subscribe please hit subscribe there are so many people who come and watch the videos on this channel and are not subscribed and it really does help the channel if you do subscribe so I was I was on a budget this weekend because I spent a little bit too much on my with my card budget on eBay during the week so therefore you know that kind of pushes over to the shows so um, didn't spend as much, but still got a decent little haul here. And, uh, and one other thing, my 200th episode is coming up. I did something special for my 100th episode. So I'm gonna do something special for my 200th as well, which will include some giveaways. I already have a couple people within the local community dealers on board uh, for hooking me up with some, some stuff to do for some of the giveaways on that 200th episode. And if you are a dealer or if you uh, provide some type of service or goods and you would like to donate some stuff for a giveaway for some promotion please hit me up let me know and we'll go from there uh, I don't want to ramble too much more I already have enough without further ado I want to get into the show walkthrough now uh, we'll, we'll do that and when we're back I will cover my background and I will cover my pickups which I got pickups from one two three four different dealers uh, see you soon I'm 
It just so I'm happened. Money. I'm money. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's still money exchange. It's a money exchange. It's the third time in a row I've done a video, He's and Greeny over money. here <laughs> is, is deal, dealing with money. I'm usually handing it out. Appreciate the attempt there. Thank you. That's my. That's that. Yeah. Part. Okay. On Palm C, they're selling a velocity out of 99 for 75. So I meet at 140 for that. Might get all of that. Maybe a deal. I 
actually have one with a lot of rep discs. He started selling t-shirts and I ordered one and I got entered into a drawing to win an autograph baseball. So they asked me, like, the media people reached out to me and asked me to make a video of me getting the baseball, so I did and posted it on, like, Instagram and Twitter to get up So that made my nieces really jealous. Like, they were already like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah, because I have one of the autograph baseballs that I couldn't have. You know they're like poison you. They want it like they want it bad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I gotta get you guys while you uh, right after you just get some food, right? <laughs> When you're about to eat? At least we're smiling. You're good.
Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, man. What's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy? Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it, man. You get on, on bed. <laughs> How you guys doing the show? Good, good. good. Yeah. How are you doing? Doing well. Buy a lot? Uh, spent too much money during the week on eBay, so my budget is yeah, is a lot lower than what it normally is. So I got some good stuff, but I know you're strict with that budget. I'm I'm not a high roller either, you know. I'm, I'm all about those those right there, the bargain bins. Is there another show? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna talk about it oh, while yeah. I'm at one show, but yeah. Oh yeah, I always I always try to get them all. You know, I got I got an obligation now, so. What's going on, man? Is that a gold? It's a 50 then, right? 39.50. Nice. How much are you asking? Uh, I think 50. 50? Okay. Thank you, sir. What's up guys? Williams Duty Prince. Get your boxes. How's it going? Good, good. Going well? How about you? It's been pretty well so far. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty busy. I mean, I, I didn't get here at nine like I was supposed to. I got here at ten, but uh, it's pretty packed. It's good turnout. Really. Yeah. Uh, how much longer is it going to be able to keep this venue up? I don't know. It's, he was talking he's growing about, out of it. Maybe. He was talking about getting a new one. Uh, he was talking about getting a new one, uh, like fifty some tables. So I would say maybe either the next or the next are going to be a good Yeah, it's 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 big enough that uh, it can has room to grow. So that's cool. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Don't get your case. Why? Some little kid like jumped Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, you need to get something like really good to like try on these old It's a little slide. It's not just this one. Is it, is it glass or plexi? It's plexi. Okay, well, that's a good thing then. At least it won't shatter everywhere. I want that Jay-Z. <laughs> Probably too much. How much is that Jay-Z? Uh, like 200. Yeah. Too much for me. Yeah, take your key. Try it. Try it back. Better than nothing. 
Yeah, you got you got to pry it open with the key. You're not gonna be able to get it. <laughs> All right, kids, don't be setting stuff on your cases. See, that's what happens. All right, that's better. Thank you, man. Learning experience. Look at it. We got, we got Hero, Mr. Hero over here. Nice a lot of eggs. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Fifteen. I don't even know what those cards would be. That's um, true. What's going on, Chris? Good to see you. Good to see you. Not bad. Look at all them stacks. I like that hat. <laughs> Is that your hat? That's not mine. It's Paul's hat. Making them deals. Oh yeah, trying to. Sorry guys, trying to squeeze through. It's a little tight squeeze today. Yeah. Yeah, if he wants to hold that optic for me, I'll get it next time for sure. Tell him. Let him know. Cause I guaranteed I will I gotta come back to get something from the shop from the show organizer. So, like, at that point, I might as well get that, too.
I'm not, no, I'm not set up, no. I just do walkthroughs of the show. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. where's the business card? It's right there. Do you do breaks or anything, or collect, or? I'm just a collector. Yeah. I post these on YouTube. Cool. Check it out. Yeah. I don't get special treatment just because I'm doing a video. You're good. Go ahead. Well, okay, I won't get you in it. It's above your head. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that walkthrough. Uh, background, let's get into the background real quick and then we'll cover my pickups. Uh, decided to do a little Jack Youngblood action over here. Unfortunately, I don't have a rookie. The earliest Jack Youngblood I have is a 1975. It's a PSA 7. Pretty ugly card, in my opinion, with uh, <clears throat> as far as tops designs go. Uh, and then the classic 1976 tops in a PSA 5. Not the greatest grade, but I don't really care that much about number grades. Uh, and then a 1978 in a PSA 6. And then, uh, I know I've been doing McFarlane's recently, but I decided to put a mini helmet up here. I got a mini helmet autographed by Jack Youngblood, and it has the Hall of Fame 2001, or Hall of Fame 01, uh, inscribed on there. So very, very cool. Good old Jack Youngblood. Uh, defensive linemen do not get enough credit nowadays. Uh, you know, despite being in the Hall, he's in the Hall of Fame, so he's got some credit. But uh, nonetheless, all right, let's go ahead and get started. We have uh, let's see, you know what, let me cover, yeah, let's cover that first, why not? So, I spoke to two younger guys, I don't know, somewhere between the ages of 18 and 24, and, uh, they were dealing at the show for the very first time, so they had never, they had never been a dealer at a show before, or at this show before, and uh, it was Alex, or maybe, what is that? AZ underscore sports underscore memorabilia. And then the other gentleman, FR, I don't know if that's a dash or an underscore, ANK 445. I don't know, man. Handwriting, your handwriting game is a little rough. <laughs> Raking balls here, sorry. But uh, had had a nice little dollar, dollar box stack. So I, I came up with some some cards and I, I i did mention there was a lot of good stuff in this guy's dollar box but i'm you know i'm, I'm a budget collector i'm pretty picky so i told him i was like hey if, if this was like you know two for a dollar four for a dollar or something like that i'd be picking up way more but in this case i had to kind of to to pick and choose so here we are uh let's see starting off cool little um little patch here rookie royalty Vincent Brown, Chargers, 
Uh, it's got a it's got a cool patch, Crown Royale from 2011, uh, serial number to 50. So nothing like crazy, but I mean for a dollar, okay, why not? Uh, then I picked up a bunch of these Topps Supreme cards that are all serially numbered. So here we are. We have a Marcus Allen base to 99. Marcus Allen to 75. So maybe these are just different parallels. Looks like one was a purple, one's a gold. Uh, regular 170, Eric Dickerson, my all-time favorite running back. We have a Bo Jackson to 170. A Bo Jackson purple to 99. Bo Jackson blue to 112. Interesting numbering system there, Tops. Uh, Jordy Nelson to 50. Thought that was kind of neat. And then we have some more. I guess this is all tops numbered stuff except for that original patch card. Here we have a, what is this? Triple threads, tops triple threads. We get a Barry Sanders to 170 and a Eric Decker to 25. It's, it's pretty hard for me to pass up a low, a really low serial numbered card like that for a dollar. Uh, and then we have some some regular tops parallels, which is neat. All right, we have 2000 and what is this? 2008? No, 2007. 2008 had the bubbles with the team name on the top. 2007, near serial number two, 2007 of Robbie Gold. I know it's a kicker, but you don't really see a lot of kicker cards. So, you know, they tend to be in a little bit more high demand for their for their respective team fan bases uh then we got a ryan Tannehill gold rookie from 2012 which i have a number of these uh in tops chrome graded already and then 2013 2013 gold we got cameron jordan uh very cool and darren sproles both of those of course serial number to 2013 and then a pink 2015 Cam Chancellor, ceiling number two, 399, 499. I was close. All right, and that was all from those two guys. Nice dudes. I will probably pick up more from them in the future uh, if they're at the show and if they want to work with me on some more discount bargain bin prices. I also have one of those guys holding a PSA graded card for me for next time because since I was on a budget, I uh, I was not able to pick up everything that I wanted to. All right, next up, I got two cards, or three actually. Probably should have put the sticker on the other one. This is from, I took, I took it, you can't read my writing, uh, Hermit Crab Collectibles. I'll put it on screen because I don't remember exactly how it was spelled when I put it on the sticker. But picked up a couple cards from, from him. Uh, a Shack, Sports Illustrated for Kids. Uh, I want to say that's 93 or so, so that might be, I don't know whether they did one for, yeah, Series 2, 1993. So I don't know whether they did one for like his rookie year or his college when he was at LSU, but I mean, Sports Illustrated for kids cards are very nostalgic for me because I had those when I was a kid. I did have a subscription as a child, so. And then a, uh, a good old Seasons Best. I love me some Seasons Best, they are gorgeous board members season's best of hall of famer dikembe mutombo from the first year of season's best 96 97 so very cool and then i think this is from this is either from hermit crab collectibles or from paul logan which i will cover in a minute i don't remember because i didn't put it <laughs> i didn't put it in a, in, a, in its right spot but i just got this uh, regular tom brady hollow i think it was like a dollar so, I mean, why not? And then uh, speaking of Paul Logan, Paul Logan uh, had a stack of OTE. And I know some people don't like OTE. Some people don't like, you know, college cards, whatever the case is. But uh, I was going through his bargain bin and he had a stack of OTE and I just took out the whole stack. And I said, what do you want for this stack? So I may actually, I may actually use some of these 
or I may use all of them for a future versus video, which I've been doing recently where I take like unopened product, as you can see, and then I take singles and I see if the unopened product can even touch my singles on the same cost. But picked up a ton of OTE here. Uh, I'm gonna skim through most of the base because uh, yeah, most of the base we don't really care that much about. I mean, there is like, here's an example of a local guy, went to Shadow Mountain, coached by Mike Bibby, won the state championship as a freshman, uh, then went to two prep schools. And so, you know, he's he's got some local ties. So, I mean, there's some cool things in here about these guys too. And I've covered a lot of these guys in detail. Uh, Gortman was drafted this year, or maybe, no, maybe it's next year. Uh, but I've covered a lot of these guys in the versus videos that I did, uh, or the first versus video that I did on the OTE box already. So if you're interested in finding out some more on these guys, go check out that video. Uh, let's see, TJ Clark, he, uh, I have a gold wave auto of him and he shared it on Instagram and on Twitter, in fact. It's like the first post on his, on his Twitter, which is cool. Ryan Buley should be a first round draft pick next year. Uh, and then these are really cool. 1969-70 design with a refractor finish. So got a bunch of those. Buley brothers, Buley twins should be going first round next year. Whereas the Thompson twins went first round this year, of course. There's Amon Thompson went number four to the Rockets. And then his brother, Sar, went number five to the Pistons. So I got a number of those, which I'm very excited about. Pretty sure I paid like 15 for this entire stack, which, uh, fantastic deal. I mean, there's like 12 right there. There's a 5960, or I'm sorry, 6970 design. I don't remember what I said earlier. Thompson, Thompson, Thompson. So this whole stack right here, the Thompson twins, heck of a deal. I probably paid about a buck a piece on average at Maybe, maybe, or probably less. And then um, the last pickup, A underscore list underscore cards. Got an Ant, PSA graded. Those of you familiar with the channel know, I don't really care that much about number grade. I like the slab and I, I like the card and I like the slab. Um, I like the fact that, it, you know, it can't be damaged. It's in there, it's nicely labeled. Everyone can tell what it is, but uh, very cool. Rookie Anthony Edwards, Hyper Pink Parallel, PSA 8, I'm in. Like, that's cool. I don't think I had any Anthony Edwards rookies from Optic. And, uh, you know, I do Optic as a Chrome replacement. So, uh, but that's cool. That That is my haul. So not the biggest haul. I've definitely, um, you know, definitely had a lot bigger hauls from the shows in the past. And uh, it was just, I was on a budget, you know, I, I set a certain amount of budget for myself. And when I spend too much of that budget during the week online, then that means that I have less money for the shows. So, you know, uh, part, of, part of having some self-control, which I try to do my best and have some self-control. So, uh, but I'm very happy with this. Uh, if you wanna see more of the, uh, of my personal collection, and uh, be informed about when, when my videos come out and stuff like that, check out my Instagram and my Twitter because I post some great stuff. I post like three times a day on average. I usually skip one day a week. Post the same stuff on Twitter as I do on Facebook, uh, or I'm sorry, Instagram and Twitter, not Facebook. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and other than that, if you're interested in joining a new collector's message board, uh, just start it up. A little bit about a month ago, thehobbyboards.com. A uh, really cool message board system. It's a great way to communicate. Uh, a lot, a lot more options to share and uh, you know have an actual dialogue than you have on social media. So, uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Uh, tomorrow, remember tomorrow, I will have the collectibles on college show 
walk through and I didn't, I don't even think I picked anything up from collectibles on college just because I was so broke. But I do have a little side project I'm working on that started there as well. So, but, uh, but either way, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. See you in the next vid. Peace.